Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since we've done a colour and chat. Oops, I just load a load of books on the floor. Never mind, I'll pick them up in a minute. Um, it's been a while since we've done a colour chat and I'll go into that in a bit. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Uh, this is uh, videos for adults and are not intended for or made for children. Today we're going to be colouring in and colouring Heaven Gothic's Fairy Special, which is my Cajolina. We're going to be colouring in Cassandra. I think that's Cassandra, yeah, because when we put it was Astrid, we've done that one. And we're just going to have a nice little relaxed chat while we colour in using the Everblend markers. It's been a while, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with um, Macaroon, no, yeah, Macaroon Pink for her, her skin. So, yes, I just dropped all the books on the floor that I've uh, put ready to do my book haul for this month and everything else I've bought. So that was very clever. They've just fallen on the floor, but I can pick them up, it won't take a minute, and then I'll, the books I haven't coloured in, or I'm not planning on colouring in, will be going into my stash upstairs, and then the rest will be staying down here. So it's been a while um, since the last video, so I do apologise. Every time I start getting ready to, to do it, something happens, and I just can't get, I just run out of time. So obviously we're still both working from home and I've had some training to do and I still haven't finished that. I might do it tomorrow night. Um, and I've arranged with my, my manager to do it in the evenings after Jennifer's gone to bed. So I've done some of it, I did some the other night and then take the time back off from my work day. But of course doing that took up an hour of my free time in the evening. So that was would have been normally my video colouring time. But I've got to do it, it's mandatory training. Um, and then of course I finished early at work and was playing with Jennifer, so. Uh, on top of that, I've been trying to get eBay going again, although I'm still selling and I've been selling pretty con constantly and, you know, not huge amounts, but I have been selling a little bit and uh, here and there and I've made a little bit of money this month. I do want to get back to it properly and get stuff listed. Um, like I said, I've got, I think I said in the previous video, I've got a big um, haul of clothing come in. I think I mentioned it on my weekly vlog uh, from another reseller who bought it, who got it, who was asked to sell it on from somebody else. A 45 items of clothing come in. So I am trying to list um, the PlayStation games and stuff I've got and what little bit of clothing I've got upstairs. So I've been working on that as well. So last night, so the night before last, uh, which was, what day were we on Wednesday? Monday night, I did an, oops, there goes the book again, an hour of training. And then last night I was doing all this eBay stuff and getting, you know, it took me a while because I had to photograph the computer games, the PlayStation games. They are all now photographed, so I've just got to put them live. So I just put a few live every day, just so that there's activity on your account. That's what eBay likes to see, so. I'll be doing that later, so. Still just staying as cheerful as possible, doing what I can. Um, yesterday it rained all day, so I couldn't go out. Side, you know, and I think it was pretty grimy on Monday. And today it was actually dry. So Paul took Jennifer for a little walk during his lunch break which got her out into the fresh air and that was lovely and then when she came back she had some lunch with me and then after dinner this evening we all went outside because it was quite nice and wasn't raining and we just um, sat around me and Paul in the garden I did some colouring and Jennifer played with her various toys I pulled some orders that I've got and basically we just you know carried on had a nice little 40 minutes in the garden. It was quite nippy, Jennifer had her coat on. Uh, we all were wrapped up warm, you know, it's the end of April. Um, yeah, and then we came in, when it, Paul came in to do the washing up. And then I came in with Jennifer when it got a bit cold. I said, come on, we're going to have some yogurt now. And we came in, I had a bit of yogurt, because she loves yogurt. And, uh, put her to bed and me and Paul's just been watching a bit of TV he's off to, gone off to bed now and I thought I'd, I've got the time I'm gonna go make a, a video for you all so I'm, I'm happy to be back so I hope you're all right 
Welcome to all my new subscribers that I've uh, got in the last week or so. Thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. Obviously, if you do, leave me a comment in the video saying what you like to see. I am working on my Black Widow review and tutorial video. Um, so that will be coming soon, but as with the WH Smith one, it does take me a while to to film that because obviously I film the beginning, show you various colours and how they take the paper, and then I show you how they um, blend. They, you know, I do some uh, black background blending at the end, uh, but I go away and colour the majority of the picture off camera. So you won't be seeing that video until I hope the second week in May. Um, but I'll give you an update in another in the next colouring chat video that we do. So Jennifer had a fall yesterday, which was Tuesday. She fell, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Day before yesterday, it was Monday. Banged her head on the steps outside. Yeah, we went out Monday briefly because it wasn't raining and I had to go and pick some orders. So she came up with me. And I'd come back in to do dinner. She didn't want to come in, so she stayed out with Paul. And then when she was coming in, she banged her head on the step. But she's got a nasty bruise, but she is fine. You know, she as soon as she got over the shock and stopped crying, she was oh, running around like a maniac again. She ate all her dinner. And she's been fine ever since. So I was worried, obviously. I didn't sleep very well, <laughs> keeping an eye on her. Slept in her room to make sure she was all right. She's, she's absolutely fine. Kids, they are such a worry. But there you go, she's fine, and that's all that matters. So I am slowly working my way through some of my videos that I've got. Unfortunately, my fire stick stopped working upstairs. I, I'm not sure it might just need new batteries in the remote. So I've got to do that. Um, and of course, during the day, again, Jennifer is watching, oh my God, Waffle the Wonder Dog. If I'm lucky, she'll watch Peter Rabbit instead of TV series, which is cool. I don't mind Peter Rabbit. Sometimes it's even Bing at the moment. But uh, yeah, she does love that waffle and dog. So I don't really get to watch many of my videos at the moment as I'd like to. I try and watch a couple in the morning before I start work when I'm having my breakfast. And in the evenings, if Paul's reading and there's nothing he wants to watch, I'll put a few on as well. So. so don't forget on Facebook we've got our own colouring group, Andrea's Attic Colouring Group. Um, if I remember I'll put a link down below but if not it is shown in a few of the other Vidget Colouring Chat videos. Come over and join. I'd love to see you there. Post your works, what you're doing, your whips. If you've got um, a YouTube channel and you post content, please leave a link to that content in the, somewhere in the group. So we can all have a look at your videos as well, because I love watching colouring videos. I find it very relaxing. love seeing what my colouring buds are up to. I particularly love, as does everybody, hauls and completed pages. Hauls because I like to see what books everybody's buying and see if I want them. If I haven't already got them and obviously completed pages to see what everybody else has done and I go oh I wish I could colour like that <laughs> you know what it's like you always wish you could colour like somebody else but there you go oops that top didn't go on then that on. so like I said we are using the Arteza Everblends or Arteza oh I've got a cup of tea here because you know Tea has got to be done. So, what colour? I think we'll use this light one for her wings, which is no, not that one. That's a bit too. It was the one next to it. I want, uh, which is lime green, because sometimes I don't know where my colour chart is, so I pull them out and I'll try and have a look to see what you want. So I'm just using some random colours. Because I can. Because there is no wrong or right in colouring. You can colour anything, any colour. 
I personally like to colour things normally but sometimes like with the one we did last time Astrid I coloured a very dark blue I go a bit mad too so. I'm still working my way through New Who New Doctor Who I am on Matt Smith still um, and it's the second story with James Codron in it so I can't spell it to pronounce his name him on the late show so they were good episodes mind yes he likes Alfie but he'd rather be known as Stormageddon what? I speak baby. Okay, it's so funny. I mean, the line's a bit longer than that. But, uh, yeah. I love Doctor Who. It's got to be done. I will put a bit of glitter gel pen on this one as well. But we'll do that last. We'll do all the felt first. We might all the marker first, rather. Not felt. And then, you're probably going to take two videos. We're on 11 minutes already. But that's okay. we can finish this one off in, at the beginning of May I can't believe we're always in May so we were or are supposed to be on holiday at the end of June it's not looking likely at the moment the holiday company we're going with um, they're called Haven they are a static caravan place they have a holiday parks in the UK and uh, we usually go to the one in, in Tenby in West Wales South West Wales um, they've cancelled all holidays up to the 1st of June at the moment so it's looking quite likely that it is going to be cancelled unfortunately but we will either just get the money back or reschedule for another time um, when we can get the time off work and go it's a shame but uh, you know it's, we've got to be safe my company has now said that from what I gather that we had an email come out today I've only seen it very briefly I haven't read it all the way through that unless you're required to, to work in the office now, and so that means people like the post room will be in, because post has to come in because of the kind of work we do. Um, so certain people go in, some of the managers go in here and there, and so on. Unless you're one of those people that are currently working in the office because your job has to be in the office, they're not expecting us back to at least the end of July, even if the government lifts the restrictions, it's because they would have problems with the social distancing. There's so many people that work in our office that at the very most, I guess I'm about three foot away from my nearest colleague and two foot from another one. So the two meter distancing, if they're saying you've still got to impose that, would be pretty nigh on impossible for them to do. Just because of the amount of people that work where we work. So, yeah, it is um, it is what it is. So I'm not that bothered because I quite like being at home with Jennifer. I'm saving money on diesel and childcare because her nursery's closed anyway at the moment. Um, and they're using it for key workers only. Which technically we are, but, you know, because we're furloughed, well, not furloughed, but because we can work from home, it it saves up a place for everybody else so and of course we don't have to pay the fees while this is going on which to me it's a lot of money so it's money that I can I can save I can put into my eBay business I can save some of it in my ISA I can put some of it into my colouring channel because we are getting ever closer to the magic number of 1000 I mean even when I get to 1000 you're not going to see adverts straight away I'm not going to monetize immediately the reason being is that um, I don't want to then dip below a thousand and then take it away and then I have to go through hoops to get it back. So I'll probably wait until I'm about a thousand and fifty or more. But I always put up skippable ads so that if you don't, you don't want to see the ads you don't have to watch them. You can just skip past them. I, I do that unless it's something, and it's very rare. 
I'll let an ad play if I'm doing something else and I'm waiting for a video to start. Or if it's something like for a new movie that I'm interested in, I will definitely watch it. If it's any movie trailer, I watch at least once. Sometimes more, but it, obviously it depends on what the film is. Obviously, content creators don't get to dictate, I've missed a bit there, what adverts are on their channel. Um, which is a shame, but advertisers, have, advertisers pay to be seen, so, you know, regardless of whether you would just want chocolate ads, chocolate and film ads, that would be my ideal. You know, you've got to have the others as well, and sometimes you're like, I'm not interested in this. But it is what it is, so, you know, just skip by. I will always, if I can, request skippable ads. I, I mean, I know you used to be able to request it, so. I don't know why I've done a green. It's like colour. Well, she's very flowery. She's got flowers and everything, so. Over here. Just thought it'd be nice. Don't use up a lot of green, really. Always a lot of blue and red, but never a lot of green. Nice colour, isn't it? It's, cool. it's neon yellow. Hmm. So what's else been going on? My mum and dad's fine. My mum's actually walking a little bit now. She's got a uh, ankle support, so she is actually able to move. She's sitting up all the time. <coughs> excuse me, and putting weight on her foot, which is good news. <coughs> Dad is fine, the dog is fine, Chris is fine over in New Zealand, Richard, uh, Claire and the kids are alright over in New Zealand, I say kids, they're grown up now, but they're all, all fine, which is great news. As far as I know, my sister and her kids and their kids are all fine from what I gather, and uh, one of mine... Uh, nieces is, is a nurse as well so fair play to all those NHS care workers and key workers that have no choice but to be out there working whether it's a, a, a nurse in a hospital or a care home or somebody who works in the supermarket fair play to them they deserve all our support and all our you know our help in, in doing this right and keeping them safe as well as us safe so it's not just about us it's about them as well they they've got families my I've got a friend who works for a butcher's and his wife is works in a care home so they're both in the front line and they've got a daughter a young daughter as well I think she she was four the other day so to me they're heroes every single one of them I mean I have Myself worked in id retail and I've worked as a carer and I'm right now glad that I no longer do this. I, I really am. I am so glad I don't do it anymore. I mean, I work for a company that supports government and we are classed as essential workers but we are lucky enough to be able to work from home. I haven't driven my car in seven weeks. Every now and again, I go outside, I turn the engine on and make sure it's starting. If, as soon as it gets to the point where it doesn't start, I know that when this is over, I've got to get my mechanic friend out to come and jump it. But he's a good bloke and he won't mind. So, I know that. It's just a matter of us all being very, very sensible and very, very careful so that we don't contaminate and make anybody else ill. And I think anybody who is not listening and then not following the instructions, 
please do please listen please think of your family members think of your friends think of your elderly neighbors you know we've got over around 30,000 or more dead now in the UK probably more but the official number I think was at 26 please be sensible every single one of us every single life out there every single person's life has value So please be mindful. Treat everybody else the way you want to be treated in this world. So on to happier notes. I am currently reading. I read. I bought a book the other day called. Oh God, what was it called? It was by a bloke named Dave Turner. And it's, I think it's something like the Afterlife series or something. It's about this bloke called Dave who, who, since he was a child, could see ghosts. And he has a near-death experience, which gives him the ability to help him pass on to the other side. They're called Death's Mistakes. It's, it's a funny book. It's not, it is a, it is a comedy. Um, they're people that death missed for whatever reason. Um, and so he can help them. And there's only one other person that's the same and they both go to work for death and they have to help people cross the other side but there's something lurking, something bad's happening, people are turning against each other and they find out that it's all down to, to one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse uh, conquest. There's only two of them left, the other two were killed. Um, they explain how you can kill one of the four horsemen and when it happens. Uh, it's so funny. Some of it is just, it is just classically funny. It's just, I, I was chuckling, I was reading it out to Paul. It's definitely, definitely funny. It was advertised on Amazon. I read a little bit of it, the blurb that was on the ad, and I thought this was funny. It was 4 for the first three books in the series. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. And I read them all in one go. Now, to be fair, they're not very long books. It could have been just one long book with uh, separated into three parts. Um, but it was very good. It was so funny. I really, really enjoyed it. i got to be honest, I have not updated my Goodreads in months. In Well, over a month. I've got a few books put on there. I'm probably about 30 books behind my target. I've got those three. I think I've got six to put on. Um, and I've also got, I'm currently reading Donna Hill's uh, Rudolph Valentino, The Silent Idol, which is mostly pictorial, but there is a bit of text in it. And I, I'm just going, I'm on page 161. And I'm, I'm just working my way through it quite slowly, looking at the pictures, reading the text in it, and just enjoying, e enjoying it. So I have got lots of books to read, uh, but I've been colouring mostly, as you'll see shortly in my end of month uh, colouring video. There's a lot this month. There's a lot of patterns because I find them very relaxing uh, when Jennifer's around. It's also because if she grabs it and it gets squiggled on, I'm not going to care as much as if it was something I'd spent days on with shading and uh, colouring. So for instance, I'm colouring in um, Colouring Heaven's Mermaid's book, which is one of the Selena Fennec ones. And I've spent hours on it already, well, a couple of hours, just doing the skin tone of the mermaid. And um, if she got that one and scribbled on it, I would not be very happy. I wouldn't tell her off. It would be my own fault for having it where she can grab it. But I wouldn't be happy. But if she scribbles on a a mandala that hasn't... Because like, I generally use gel pens and markers in them. I'm not going to worry about it. She did get... Uh, handprint on one of the books because she had greasy fingers and that's on the bottom of the page it doesn't bother me it is what it is you know she's fine but uh, yeah so. 
Oh dear me. So even though it's chillier tonight, I feel quite warm, it's quite close in the house. But I'm just glad we're all feeling well. Because Paul's very anxious about getting it because he's the one that has to go out to the shops because of my asthma. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I might go for a short walk up to the canal, but even that, there's too many people up there for my liking. So generally, I'm just going out in the garden if it's not raining and playing with Jennifer and getting some exercise that way. I'm up and downstairs, obviously, a lot. Um, but I I'm not going into any shops. So when I got eBay, I've got two packages to post now. Now, you might go down tomorrow. I said, you go when you want to. There's no rush on them. I've got them on 10-day dispatch. You could do it tomorrow. You could do it Friday. Makes no difference to me. They're not ready, so I'll probably get them ready later today. But um, he can take them whenever he's ready to take them. And it won't bother me because they're, they're fine. It's not going to be a major issue um, with it. So let's do her hair. So one thing I do like about markers, because I don't particularly go in and use pencils over the top. I know some people do. They're quite quick to colour with markers and it's quite relaxing. So let's get a burgundy just to give her a bit of, a bit of dark. Yeah, that's the colour. That's nice. I don't really do that. I haven't got patience. I've coloured it once. I've coloured it once. It's bad enough doing skin when I'm using pencils and I use, I've done like the Selena Fennec one, I've done like three layers on it or and some other bits as well and it's just, oh I'm just like really I've done enough of this now because for me I get really fed up with doing the uh, too much shading and blending and yes I suppose I could leave it and come back and finish it later but I don't really want I like to do things and finish sections it's about as methodical as I get so so yes I've got potentially another three months of working from home possibly more if it lasts longer um, it's, it's going to be hard to go back I gotta be honest I'm not going to want to go back I mean it's less stressful I don't have to drive um, I don't have to sit in traffic for a, any length of time with everybody else, getting fed up, waiting for the lights to change or whatever. And I don't have to, you know, it's so much nicer, it's so much more relaxing. Then going to work in the office and don't get me wrong I like the people and the place is fine it's just the I quite like this not having you know I get up I get up at 10 to 7 sometimes I don't get up till 7 and I start at 8 so I get up I roll out of bed I have breakfast I go and sit at my computer and I start sometimes I don't even bother actually most days I don't even bother getting dressed till after I finish work because I'm lazy like that and then when I finish work, I go and have a shower. I make Jennifer some lunch. Well, I make some lunch first, and because then, then Jennifer is quite happily sit and watch a bit of TV quietly while Paul's working. And while he's working, she'll watch TV and I'll go and have a shower. I'll get dressed and then we'll either go out in the garden if it's not raining or we'll just sit and play. Yeah. a very lazy existence I'm not getting much exercise on it I need to try and do a bit more even if it's just running up and down the steps in the garden because um oh that is a bit of hair so I'm just looking at this we're getting close to 30 minutes so I know it's going to click off in a minute so let's keep an there we go 
30 minutes, it stopped and I'm back. It's funny how it does that. So yeah, I've done quite a few colouring pages to, so far and tomorrow I won't be starting anything new. I've got a few whips, so what I will be doing tomorrow is just trying to finish those whips off. So I've got the Selena Fennec one, which I'm not going to finish, but I to do a bit more of. This one, if I don't finish it tonight, I will leave until we have another session. Though there won't be much left, I don't think. Um, what else have I got on the go? What have I got on the go? trying to think. Do you know what? I don't think I've got that many. I've got the World of Flowers one which we were doing on camera before Christmas. I still haven't finished. I have done a bit more on that one though so I might try and finish that off. Um, oh and I've got one from Fantasy Princesses that I've started um, which was a colour along through the Colour in Heaven friends group um, but I haven't finished that yet either. So I need to, to do that, so that'll probably be tomorrow, I'm actually using the markers. I started it, I thought, oh, I think it's going to take me long. And then of course you stop doing it because you're doing something else and you just, you just forget. And then, it's like, oh really, I've forgotten, I've got to go back and do this. So I will go back to do that one shortly, that'll be one of the ones for tomorrow, when I finish work. I have done a heck of a lot. I don't want to count it. I think there's probably about 20, maybe a bit more, but definitely around 20, I would have thought. Like I said, I'm not sure, but you'll find that out at the beginning of May when I do my um, completed pages video. So, oh, there's a corner of her ear. Um, I'm, I missed that. I'll have to go and get that in in a minute. Hang on. Let me just get that uh, macaroon pink. So you can't see the ear on the other side. I thought that was it, but it's actually a wisp of hair. I have no idea if you can even see what I'm doing. Yes, you can actually, could. Yeah, so you can see the ear on this side, but on that side you can't. There's a, that I thought was part of her ear, but it's actually part of this strand of hair here. It's that strand there, so, which I haven't finished yet. But. These are hard to get back in the case, but I do like the case. Ooh, it's a bit warm. I am so warm. Anyway, let's just carry on colouring this down. I'll probably stop even though I haven't finished a hair because I'll remember what colours it is. It's brandy rose and burgundy and I can always write it on the on the paper behind the thing so. because we've only just done 33 minutes we're just doing her hair as you can see we've done a bit out the lines but your hair is straggly and you do get wispy bits that stick out so we won't worry about that we will be putting some glitter gel on on this it will be different I don't know about a background I might just leave it blank sometimes I do backgrounds as you know I did with Astrid Sometimes I don't, it just depends on the picture and I think this one will just look quite nice as it is. There we go. Oh, it's all good fun, isn't it? Let's just do this wisp of hair over this side. That's 
that bit. I think I'll, I'll do a lips and then I'll call it a day just because it's been 35 minutes and I don't want to have a, a 20 minute video next time where I'm like, oh, yeah, well, we've run out. I think I'll just use the burgundy actually for a lips because it's a nice colour. And we'll do her eyes as well. That's not the burgundy, that's the beige rose. That's fine. It's actually quite a nice colour, isn't it? We'll do it that colour. I quite like that. Yeah, that actually looks really nice. Let me give us some blue eyes. And we're just going to go with pale aqua blue. Which probably won't be pale aqua blue because they're usually really bright. Oops. I'm gonna leave it there for today just because if I don't I'm gonna have to do the whole thing in one go and that make a very 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 long video and if I carry on for a bit longer and don't do it all it's gonna make a very short video in the next one so <coughs> this is what we've done so far so we've just got her hair and the flowers to do and this most of this will probably be with the glitter pen and We'll put some glitter on her dress and her wings as well. And maybe a bit in her hair. But that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this quick colouring catch-up chat. Um, if you have, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are one, please hit the notification bell down below. So that I can, uh, you will be notified then every time I post a video. And subscribe. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think so far. Are you enjoying this video? I hope so. I'm not really with it, so I'm so, I'm so warm. Whew. It's a bit warm in this house. I've had the heating on today. It's that cold. But I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.